Hey guys, this is Alero, bringing you a replay from our cast it. Um, this will be a ZVP on uh, Mtome Valley between GNS the Rager and Ingle Brigtonson. I uh, hope I don't uh, butcher that too much. Inga Brigtonson? I'm um, terrible with really bad, hard American English speaking names. Um, names that are not American English names, so hopefully I, uh, I get that right. But um, yeah, GNS, The Rager, and Inga Brigsonson. So up here in the top right corner, we have GNS Razor, our Protoss player, getting a pylon on the high ground, choosing not to forward fast expand or die trying like good old Naniwa. But um, he will be doing that on the high ground, probably going for a gateway wall in, and etc. etc. Then we have our Zerg player. Inga Brigtonson, um, he's going to, um, we'll see what he does. He hasn't put down anything yet. He might go for a 14 pool, maybe a 15 hatch. Um, but she's going to drone drone right now. Drones are extremely good. And, uh, ZVP, if you make a lot of them, you win. Um, being a, I'm actually a gold zerg player myself. And, um, I almost actually got into Platinum. I was at, uh, one gold, and then apparently I decided to get super, super drunk. And then I was at, like, rank 15 when I woke up the next day. So, don't play StarCraft drunk, kids. You'll lose your rank. So, we do have the 14 pool going down. Um, 14 pool with 14 gas going down. Very, very interesting build. Let's see what he'll uh, do after that. Standard, but um, can come to a lot of interesting builds. Do you see the gateway going down? As well as the gas for warp gate. Only getting one because you only need 50. And then we do have that second pylon going down. Interesting enough, trying to get more space rather than Devil blocking in his um, gateway. Just maybe wants to build some other tech near his base. Um, he chose to use his kernel boost on the probes rather than saving it for warp gate, which is actually very interesting. So the the probe kernel will definitely be on par. We actually, I kind of missed the start, but we do have the probe. Ooh, and the pylon goes down, so there will be no early, early hatch that will be delayed. 320s will start. We'll see how long it will take the Zerg. The Zerg actually not at 300 right now because he spent that gas on speed, but he could have put that down. He does have them almost has the money again so hopefully um, once once he gets those four lings out like he's doing now we will have that Ooh, will that drone get the last oh but the shields are regenerating and that probe will just run around but these lings coming down to do the damage or during there's the other lings they will clean that up four lings is definitely um it's definitely not it's not horrible but it's always better to only maybe make two instead of four um, obviously we'll get, where is he going? He get, oh, trying to stop that probe, but what is he doing? He could just finish off because there is not much to scout. There's just gas and speed and there's not really, I mean, obviously he could check if he's mining more gas, but I mean, at the same time, it would have been better if he could throw him down. He's still floating all these minerals. Um, would you have this overlord? Oh, will this overlord be taken out? Right at the end. Ooh, that overlord is taken out. But he does, does he get the scout? Um, let's see if we, bleh, need to work on that. He does see this building out, so he knows there are the other gateways. He knows there's a stalker out. Getting supply blocks, the Protoss player. Um, very, but obviously having a, a pylon here. Good for gateways in case of mutas and different things. So good to have a pylon back there. Warping, um, getting this warp gate research out as soon as possible. And a third base going down for the Zerg players. So we not only see he did delay um, those bases, but now getting two hatcheries in response. A very good choice by the Zerg player because there is a fast expand going down for the Protoss. Um, if it was a four gate, it would be um, a maybe a horrible choice not to get any units and go for those three bases. But he is choosing to. Um, because the Protoss is expanding, um, he can get those three bases, and he doesn't need to really worry about punishing it, because if he chooses to um, macro with these drones, making six at a time, and continue to get that drone count up, he will help. Yep, going from 19 to 25, very, very standard. 
and you're seeing these rocks being broken down. Um, we do see seven living on the field, one obviously dying from the purple stalkers. We do see the Protoss player moving out, getting a pylon here. He has his units at the ramp, which is good, so if lanes come by, he can force field near this to prevent the cancel, as well as um, keep lanes from running up his ramp, which would be a far worse thing, a scenario, I believe. We do see the lanes running out. They do take out the pro. I'm assuming they're going to um, check. Ooh, nope, running back. Um, to work on these rocks, just wanting to take out the probe. Very good at uh, game sense on the probe timing. I don't know knowing where that is. If I had that kind of game sense, I'd probably be in Platinum too. But um, spraying the creep, which is good from his main. He definitely, um, at 7 minutes, it would be nicer to see him put like a creep trim down here and spread it out a little bit more. Um, if he can connect all his third bases, that will, that will be very, very good. And we do see the Protoss getting that Twilight Cancel, very interesting placement of having it at the natural. Um, it will be a lot harder to hide it, um, considering this, this ramp is so big. Um, obviously the Overlords are going to try to scout inside the base, but, um, definitely the Zerg should be, the Zerg probably expects it though, um, like with Blink. They'll probably expect some sort of blink, maybe charge, probably not charge, most likely blink. Um, in the production tab, we do have the roach warren almost finished. So we may see some roaches going down. Obviously, you guys all know. Roaches. The very typical, typical Zerg response to Protoss. A very good response, in fact. Um, I do like going mass laying, especially if they go stalker, but you can't go um, laying against zealots, so. You know, you need them roaches. And we do see the Protoss player breaking down these rocks. Lings turn around, seeing what they can do. Lings do scout the blink going down. Ooh, great force field. Um, keeping those lings. The lings running away, but a lot of them being taken out. It, it's really bad they lost all of those lings. Very, very clutch force field right there. And the lings choosing, um, choosing interesting just to run the, the complete other way. Um, Patriot spot just kind of like where you're trying to get the three links out of there. Very interesting, but we do have that one link having the Elzel Naga Tower. Very good. Um, just a quick thing, I'm actually doing this. I'm trying to kind of speed cast this because I have uh, class in like an hour. And so I'm just going to throw this up a render and then upload to YouTube once I get back from class at like four, which is in like five, six hours. So. Very interestingly enough, I'm just going to do the speed cast, so this will probably not be as good as my other casts, um, by the way, but it's sort of like a test to myself to see how well I can cast under pressure. So, I don't know if this is just, if it's just completely awful, I'm going to overdo it later, but I just kind of want to see how many um, lanes. We do have 57 to 51, so we definitely have the slight Zerg lead in the probe count. A uh, very strong on three base. Next, going down to the third base, will the Zerg be able to punish this? Um, the, there are gateways going down, so he will not be able to do a quick wing run by in there with the stalkers right here. So the Protoss will be fairly well defended. Let's see where the, we do have that Hydra tech going down. So we will probably see that Roach Hydra army, maybe some Corruptors or Infestors to go along with it. Um, we do have Roach Speed down for the Zerg player, as well as a Robo Bay coming up and a High Templar Archive, so he's going to definitely get both. Um, probably Immortals and then High Templar because it's really expensive to get Colossi High Templar. We might see that later. He is on three base though, so it sort of depends on how well if he focuses on his economy enough. But um, 69 drones to 59 probes, definitely. Slightly getting that. Uh, lead more and more. We do have a roach ling attack on the way. Um, more warp gates going down. I don't know um, how effective it will be because I mean obviously roaches are good but lings can die so quickly and that is a lot of stalkers. Um, upgrades actually interestingly enough. No upgrades for either either players. Um, so we do have zero zero it would definitely be cool to see one of the players go for upgrades. We do have the Observer coming out. Very important to get those Observers in case of like Burrow Roaches or something. Uh, we probably will focus on Storm and then head to Robotech. 
you have an infestation pit on the way. Finally, plus one armor coming out. Very important um, for those lings, especially. Those lings can take one more hit with those. Um, and we do have the forges on the way for the pro so very good that he's getting that armor out because zealots will just tear away. We do actually have an immortal out, um, like I said, so we are going to see a bit of an immortal with High Templar and Storm. Um, obviously with Sockers is the main bulk of the army. And we do have these roaches attacking these rocks here. This creep spread getting a lot better. I mean, it's going to have all four bases connected, all past scene. It would be um, cool if we you know, get it up here. It doesn't matter which way the Protoss attacks. And we'll... Oh boy, I just missed it there, but the... Observer was taken out. Um, that queen definitely getting his work. It would be nice if he would uh, spread this creep right here. Um, he is choosing to move out. The Zerg player trying to think about moving in. Oh, no, he doesn't. But the Zerg finally attacking those force fields going down, blocking a lot of those roaches. Um, some of those roaches in the back. But still a fairly good attack from the Zerg. The problem is with these extra, extra force fields, the, um, the mortal, um, is being, uh, protected, but Zerg player, too many stalkers right here, Zerg player, very bad trade for the Zerg with those, those first force fields didn't look like they would do the job, but with those second force fields and that extra round of stalkers coming into the fight, it was definitely worth it for the Protoss player to defend, and the Zerg player sending in, uh, Inga brings to Sin, Sending in more roaches, but this is a very bad play. Um, he should just sit back, macro up, try to get some other tech. Broodlords would be great about now. If um, he does have the hive and the spire going down, but that it would be nice to see him um, do some other play. It's it's going to be very hard for him to pressure this third because of the gateway. I mean, obviously he just broke it down, and now Lingorn buys him come by. But if he loses his stalker or these roaches. Um, he will be in a lot of trouble. Obviously, the, the supply has a huge difference, but um, there are still a lot, lot, lot of um, soccer on the field. Oh man, those those roaches were just taken. They were slaughtered, man. The Zerg actually, he's keeping very good production up on his roaches. Obviously, these four bases um, doing very well on keeping um, the unit tab up. The problem is that, oh wow, 40 roaches, that is a lot, is that um, he will actually be maxed fairly, fairly soon, but he won't necessarily have the tech that's needed. I mean, you saw Archons earlier, you know, storms and different things. He definitely needs... Um, Broodlord's out to come and he does have the Greater Spire on the way as well as plus two armor. Oh there we go. We do have him running. He did take out that Tyron so there will be a few great moves down. But um, the Roach is definitely going for and trying to attack these Stalkers. We do have a higher amount of Roaches than the Stalkers. Very good. The Zerg definitely being able to finally pressure him. You don't see any, interestingly enough, like Immortals or anything else that the Protoss would need. Um, the Protoss won't be in those extra stalkers, so you won't be able to take out this army, but there will be extra roaches possibly. Oh no, actually, Lings produce 76 Lings now in the fight. And they will probably come in and actually be able to do a lot of damage if there's not another gateway from here if they run the third or maybe they run the natural and do some damage to so see these lings um we actually ooh broodlords as well so we do have the broodlords on the fields with some infestors these lings probably going to run in very um practically going to run and try to take maybe not the best engagement for the lings considering yeah there is that choke there but the Lynx choosing to run into the main. Very good choice. Gonna go after those probes in the main. Um, but the, the problem is the Zealots is that, you know, Lings are pretty good against Stalkers, but Zealots are really good against Lings. I mean, one Zealot with plus one can easily smack down four Lings, so. We do see, we do have two armor for the Lings, but we do have two um, attack for the Stalkers as well as two armor. So the Pros is definitely way ahead.
We do have these Broodlords coming out though, as well as um, a really good, um, we do see a lot of Minerals Bank, so we will probably be seeing, yeah, a bunch of these. It would be nice to see if he has any um, lings in production. He does need that. He does have all this larva here. It would be good if he spent all this larva on lings just to have the extra laying back up considering there's so many stalkers. We do have these Archons morphing in though. Um, so the Archons might be really good against those. We do have finally the 20 roaches coming up. He still, he has a lot of money, about 1k men um, stacked. He is maxed though, which is good. So he can be able to, but will we see, we will see these Broodlords engage into the fight. There we go. Broodlords being set down. Um, not even the Archons, even though they are good against Broodlords, they only have three range. So if the Archons cannot hit the Broodlords, then these Broodlords will be able to do a lot of damage. Um, we do have a couple of Corruptors floating in here as well, but these Broodlings, plenty of, you may only have three Broodlords, but there are plenty, plenty, plenty of Broodlords. And plenty of Broodlings. We have a storm going down, but it's unique with both of their burrows. There will be a lot of damage. We do have seven, eight stalkers working in. Um, so 3-3 three, three is finally being finished, and at GNS, the Raider chooses to leave the game. This was an um, extremely fast-paced game with a lot of um, action. The Protoss tried to, he did very smart by walling off this third here, but once the Zerus and then the Roaches, he was able to take it down. And then with that uh, Ling attack streamed in, um, he was able to uh, thin the Protoss out because the Protoss had to thin the third, and he was able to sneak uh, Lings into the main, do some damage. Um, the Protoss did have actually a fairly good composition. He did have that really nice uh, force field, but the problem with the Protoss is he didn't get things. He didn't get more Immortals. He kind of just stayed on Stalkers. He did have Archons, but the thing is, um, it would have been nicer if he got maybe um, some other tech with that. He also wasn't producing as quickly as the Zerg. The Zerg may have um, done some more unfavorable trades, like with the Lings against the Stalkers up in the choke point, but the Zerg just, um, he got a, a, a pretty high macro. I mean, obviously the probe, um, probe being out now, but for most of the game, the Zerg player did have a like a 10 drone count lead, and at the end of the game, even if the, the Provost had a higher um, probe count, it didn't matter so much because the um, the Zerg player was able to produce so much so quickly. Um, anyways, this has been a game by Alara. I'm going to be putting this up, I'm trying to run this quickly and get this up, but I have to head off to class. So I will see you guys later.